Hello, in the previous video, we did an introduction to the course and an introduction to ESXi version 6.5. In this video, I will introduce you to ESX 6.5 based command line interface, the CLI. At the same time, it's important to understand that we will be looking at the interface that is essentially common to most versions of uh, vSphere. So whether it is version 6.0 or 6.5, this interface that we're looking at, the command line interface doesn't really change. The only thing changes in there would be the options that are available because as new capabilities are added, there are new options that are available, obviously. So we will log into the ESXi direct console user interface. Uh, we'll take a look around uh, very briefly there. We will look at uh, the ESX CLI command structure. We will walk through some basic ESX CLI commands like ESX CLI network, ESX uh, CLI uh, software, ESX CLI system, and so on. We will also explore the VMFS uh, directory slash where slash log uh, directory and uh, the SBIN uh, directory. In addition, we will look at some of the ESX CFG uh, config commands that are likely to be deprecated later on, but at this point are certainly very, very uh, useful. So I'm logged in into my ESXi uh, host and one can get into the DCUI or the direct console uh, user uh, interface by either being logged in into a terminal that's attached uh, directly to your ESXi host or you can key in DC UI here and you would essentially be in the same situation. F2, I key in my password and I will get the standard options that are uh, available uh, to me in the DC UI. So you're all familiar with this so I will not Spend too much time here. Let's escape out of it to log out. And now the question becomes, how do you get out of this? I normally hit a control C and that gets me out back to my ESXi shell. So I'm in the lab, I'm logged in into a version uh, 6.5 ESXi uh, host. As you can see there, in case you're wondering what this user interface is, this is the uh, HTML5 client, which according to VMware is going to be very prominent in the next version of vSphere, which is version 7.0. So while it's here at this point in time, it doesn't do very much. And if you're interested in looking at it, uh, the best thing to do is to uh, go into one into the uh, IP address of your ESXi host. And with the slash UI, you will be able to get in there and then just log in basically as uh, always, uh, instead of the uh, vSphere dash uh, client, which one uses for uh, the web client. So it looks uh, similar, but it doesn't have too much uh, functionality uh, right now and it does not work well in very uh, complicated uh, situations. For example, I tried to unregister the VM. Here I had some orphan virtual machines which I tried to unregister in this HTML5 client and it did not do it. And I had to do it through a different uh, interface to, to actually make it work. But enough said about this uh, HTML5 client. Uh, this is going to be uh, your uh, regular client as we move forward with version 7.0. But for now, we are going to focus on other things. So now another interface into a version uh, 6.5 uh, ESXi host. So it's the same host where I showed you the HTML5 client. Now I'm logged in with a version 6 vSphere client, the classic vSphere client or the desktop client. You can see this is VMware ESXi 6.5. So this works fine, but just Please understand that VMware has already said that with the next release of vSphere, which is version 7, this will be completely deprecated and not available. It functions fine, just like always has. So I'm now going to secure shell in into my host 192.168.0.200. And we are going to explore the command line interface. So what it uh, tells us is, of course, the uh, server host key does not match the one putty has and stuff. So I am going to basically click on yes. And when I uh, do that, I am able to get the login screen into that host. So user ID and password. And of course, I'm now logged in into the ESXi shell. And the ESXi shell gives us like a, a Linux-like shell into which uh, we can then do some interesting things such as an ls so when i do an uh, a list 
can see there are some interesting directives in there the usual ones of slash user slash var and so on now including slash dev that one is uh, that one sees in a regular unix uh, system the hc is there the lives and so on this is uh, interesting the vmfs this is obviously for the vms uh, vmfs file system so we do a cd vm fs and then do a list there and it's devices and volumes so let's do a cd devices ls and uh, you can see that these are all uh, your uh, vnx and so on and actually it's a link to slash dev okay so you see all your uh, devices uh, up here i go clear and uh, do an ls again i do a c Uh, cd slash vmfs slash volumes and when we list it we see that uh, these are basically the data stores that are available so let's see if we are able to change directory to data store one two and uh, the answer is it is but of course i can't do that because i put my double quotes in there so let me just do this cd and this will work I hit clear so I'm in that directory let's see let's do an ls and you can see that there is uh, basically there are no virtual machines on that file system but the point of it is that uh, this is a, a data store and in slash vmfs slash volumes are where you find your uh, vmfs volumes uh, and uh, that's where you're able to by using uh, the standard uh, Linux or Unix type uh, uh, list commands you're able to manipulate files and move files around and so on let's go back to our uh, directory there let's take a look at the slash var log files and we do a cd slash var slash uh, log do an ls you can see there are lots of interesting ones like the vm kernel uh, log which uh, is normally used for uh, debugging so we can do a tail dash 20 on the vmk er go and uh, we can see there are some uh, interesting things uh, happening on vm nick uh, 0 and the reason for this is uh, that the vm nick 0 that i have on my uh, system is old technology uh, intel and i found that with uh, esxi 6.5 i get issues uh, with it uh, issues i did not have with uh, version 6.0 update uh, 2 so uh, there are things that are happening and we need to upgrade our hardware as well as we move forward in fact when i installed version 6.5 esxi on my host i got a warning that, that this level of cpu will not be supported in the next version of uh, esxi which is going to be version 7 of esxi we hit clear again let's look at some of the other logs uh, vmk summary log tail dash 20 vmk summary log and there's a lot more uh, stuff that's available here and again nothing much has changed here if you're familiar with how to uh, debug and look at logs from previous versions of uh, vmware nothing has changed here really in in terms of vsphere 6.5 or vsphere 6.0 clear uh, again and uh, let's move on to some esx cli commands so ESX CLI has in version 6.5 a few new uh, options because obviously version 6.5 ESXi has some uh, new capabilities but essentially it works exactly the same way as before. You key in ESX CLI and it gives you the available namespaces. So we're going to look at this uh, namespace. I hit a clear ESX CLI ESX CLI. Okay and I put in a command. I retrieve I hit uh, command and then of course I retrieve again and I go to list and uh, this lists the various uh, options uh, that I have here in terms of a of a tree let's now take a look at the ESX X CLI command line interface so ESX CLI command line some of the options uh, that we have uh, here for example are ESX CLI uh, network ESX CLI network I hit the enter key it gives you the available namespaces so i can go firewall nick let's try nick esx network nick 
the enter key and it says all the available commands are these I key in a list I retrieve the command and I key in a list and these are my uh, VM NICs uh, that are operational at this right now let's do a clear ESX CLI system is also an interesting namespace as you can see a lot of options up here so ESX CLI system interesting ones are SNMP we have uh, syslog as well that we will see uh, later of course you can change the welcome message and the version let's look at ESX CLI system version and get and we are looking at a version 6.5 uh, system ESX CLI software is an interesting command this is how one installs updates removes or displays individual virtual infrastructure bundles called uh, WIBs and of course uh, you can change uh, image profiles and so on again for a later uh, time right now we're just exploring ESX CLI ESX uh, CLI some of the other options so we looked at software we looked at system let's look at uh, storage so ESX CLI storage and now we see that we have storage core we have NFS NFS 4.1 native multipath uh, plugin as the soft default implementation of the pluggable storage architecture uh, we have a pretty detailed section on uh, PSA all the pluggable storage architecture later on in the course of course the SAN the virtual flash VMFS the VWALS file systems and IO filters so let's look at core storage core and let's look at the uh, various uh, adapters so core device list will give us the details of the various uh, adapters that are on the system of course one would uh, pipe it to more get a much better uh, picture of what we're looking about at we are, that we're looking at so of course this is your NAA name for that and then all the various options that are available now these options are settable as well as we will see when we look at the command line when we're looking at the various storage options I control C out of this ESX CLI and let's look at a network so ESX CLI network and we have the options of firewall and stuff which we saw before there's an option for uh, the next we saw uh, let's look at uh, we switch and it'll say whether are you looking for DVS or standard I say uh, DVS I know I don't have any and DVS and this has uh, VMware and this is to separate it from the various uh, Cisco Nexus 1000V or HP switches or IBM switches which I haven't really seen ever except the uh, Nexus 1000V which I'm quite familiar with actually and there is no network vSwitch DBS uh, VMware in there and so we change this to uh, vSwitch standard uh, list and of course there's a vSwitch uh, 0 as there always is in an ESXi uh, host and uh, the various options are all there we can of course set the options and this has uh, six uh, uplinks and this has uh, three port groups a management network the VM network and the VM kernel iSCSI so let's clear this uh, some other interesting commands let's go back to the top uh, ESX CFG commands and now when I tab you can see that there are many ESX uh, config commands and uh, sometimes in terms of the uh, ease of use I guess would be the right way to say it uh, these ESX config commands are usually easier to use depends a lot of people just like the ESX CLI uh, ESX CLI is really the future so at some point I expect the ESX config commands to be deprecated but until that happens I would encourage you to take a look at the ESX config commands in your free time because you will learn a lot uh, from that for example ESX config nix I can set the speed duplex auto list restore help and uh, so on there are uh, also some interesting ESX uh, uh, config commands that we use uh, later on in the course when we do the uh, pluggable storage uh, architecture okay so you have an idea of the ESX config commands 
let's look at the uh, etcd to etc slash vmware this is uh, basically a quick uh, review of what's available on an esxi uh, host and we are looking at a 6.5 host a version 6.5 but really it is the same and has been for quite some time so when you look at the uh, etc uh, vmware this is where your uh, firewall uh, resides so when i do a cd to a firewall and we will actually configure the firewall later, later on we will see we'll look at the xml and so on and we'll fix the uh, xml or the not fix but we will add other services to the xml file and that is for a later part of the uh, course i do a cd dot dot slash and i go to ssl and do an ls and this is where you have the certificate and uh, the rui certificate and, and the, the keys here and this is where the PEM files and stuff are stored and this is where when you change certificates and keys uh, this is where you do your work of course there's uh, vpxa uh, vm support so on that would be used later on so a very uh, useful place or a folder to actually look at uh, would be the etc uh, vmware there are some other commands as well so if you look at uh, the sbin uh, directory we cd to sbin do an ls uh, there's a whole a bunch of uh, esx kind of commands up here and i would again uh, encourage you to take a look at uh, some of these uh, because uh, they are really useful uh, in the course we will uh, look at uh, this command the vscsi stats command and a few others as well now if you look at this there is something called a vm dumper also which is a very useful one so sbin slash vm dumper so i'm going to pick in the proper command sbin slash vm dumper so that i have the right versions here okay uh, print a friendly uh, help message uh, sbin uh, vm dumper it tells you this is a very interesting one because it allows us to basically force dumps and so on and i found this uh, useful when systems are hanging and i need to do something about it i am able to actually uh, take care of it using spin uh, vm uh, dumper we need a world id for that which is uh, basically the kind of a process id for a uh, virtual machine as you probably already know you have the ability to send and this is what i was talking about when i said i like to take dumps sometimes uh, when things are hung this sends a non maskable interrupt to the virtual machine and you get a nice dump which you can then analyze if you feel like it the vsi shell is also very interesting and you should uh, explore this uh, on your own put this in puts me into a new uh, shell i key in uh, help and i get a whole uh, list of commands and there are some uh, very interesting uh, commands uh, that are available here allows you to do some very sophisticated things uh, again i think you would normally not use it in practice but uh, you might have to understand that this is available when you're working with uh, vmware support we are at an early part of this course so we are not going to go too much into it but uh, you should know that when you go into uh, reliability there are some interesting things that one are one can do to actually manipulate the environment i am going to uh, quit out of this by hitting a q i hit a clear and i go back to my uh, root directory and i go ls so uh, we have seen uh, the uh, etc uh, vmware subdirectory we've taken a look at the vmfs where all the uh, systems are vm images would probably have the vm uh, images and we can cd to vm images and we do an ls and uh, we have the tools iso images and so with that we come to the end of our uh, brief uh, review of the uh, command line it's a very linuxy unixy kind of a command line and the esx cli command and the esx config command as well as the uh, etc vmware uh, directories and the vmfs directories are ones that we will use quite a bit the rest of the course is all completely based on labs and the labs are with the web client and also i go into the command line quite a bit so by the end of the course you will feel very comfortable working with the command line for all aspects of vmware vsphere 6.5 in this section we explored the contents of our course we also had a brief introduction to vmware vsphere 6.5 and we are going to be looking at administering advanced vSphere 6 networking in the next section.
I look forward to seeing you there.